Thank you for our brother's life. Thank you for the legacy for the time. Thank you, Almighty, that we're here together to help this set an important part of the We have lost a father, a brother, a son, and a leader, but most likely it's not in Allah's time. And that we say thank you very much. Please take control of every single one of the best today. Everything we want, which is Christ's prayer. Please take Welcome everyone to the St. Board service of Prince Adelopa Palazzo Lavigi. Our next item on the list is going to be a hymn, your booklet. The hymn is Shall We Gather at the River. The hymn is Shall We Gather at the River. Thank you, everyone. The purpose of our gathering today is to stand for Prince Valentary, the River of the King, in the hands of the Lord, um, a brilliant soldier, a wonderful husband, an amazing dad. And on behalf of the family, I would like to thank everyone here for being here and thank you some very important thing. The next item on our list today is going to be him. Which is our next him? Which is Abide with me. Thank you, everyone. Please have a seat. Our first Bible reading will be read by Tommy Coyote. Tommy Coyote. Good morning, all. Thanks for coming. A Bible read in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. It reads There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to heal. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and time to gather them. 
They tend to embrace and tend to refrain from embracing. That's it. They tend to search and they tend to give up. They tend to kick, they tend to throw away. They tend to tear and they tend to mend. They tend to be silent and they tend to speak. They tend to love, they tend to hate. They tend for war and they tend for peace. We the Lord bless his name. So much more. The next session of our program will be the eulogy and the biography that will be given by Chris. I didn't make it on my name. Thank you. This is a biography. Friends, I know about that. So, like, if you came from one of the involved, it's just family in the southwest Nigeria. He was born in the royal palace of Owo. The late Sir Olatsa Rolaki gave him the honor of Owo. And late Olori Chief Pimel, Olatsa Rolaki. We all not read the what I hear for. Prince Adiroba was made the crown chief of the Imperial War. He was only four years old. Only he raised a chicken seat title in the war, and that would even lead him to being a king in the Red Kingdom if he had wanted. But he chose not to follow that path. Prince Adiroba was a crown. She told Israel for when he was only four years old. He attended public primary school or was in Peter's CSC school or where he was one of the star players, a soccer player. But like one of my brothers said yesterday, we all attended public primary school just next door to the palace. In the sex, four of them were like uh, the superstars, the team. Football soccer team of that school that year. But for the crisis, Robert moved to CSC primary school, and of course, he was in the staff here in the school. Eventually, he went to Lagano Grammar School in Ibadan, secondary school, and from there, proceeded to Government Technical College in Norway for his technical education. Prince Robert was a very good sportsman. He represented both his school and other state in many sporting activities, including the 1977 Sports Festival, the National Sports Festival in Kenya. His areas of priorities include soccer and tennis. He turned briefly into a class in Venice. Uh, that was when he finished his technical education. And he was there briefly before he came to the States. While in the United States, he had um, a full tennis scholarship at Jackson State University, where he studied business administration before moving to Dallas, Texas. In Dallas, Texas, uh, he worked at the Bass Colleges, which is another sporting area. I was with was very clear, Mr. Martin, the one that Martin was talking about yesterday. And he also worked in a uh, Forward here in many other companies here while this is Robert, Robert met his wife, Kofo Olumepo, in May 89 through one of her relatives. While she was still in college, while Kofo was in college, that was with the men in 89. Later, got married in 1994, and the union by the grace of God. Uh, we came back to Biola, Nicola G, and Abitichi. He was a complete gentleman. He respected all the young and old. He stayed at peace with humanity. A great leader, definitely. He had great leadership skills. Robert was a goal getter. 
who believe success. Due to the fact that he was an achiever, his flaws were his bond and take it to the bank. I was telling somebody yesterday about incidents sometimes when I say it. Uh, my phone sent me some money, my said, I don't have any money. The next thing you see, you see some, something coming in your bank account. I said, Why did you tell me you didn't have any money yesterday? Say said, Yes. I don't know that promise. I will make more after fulfill that promise. Or sometimes I won't even promise. But when you see it, it's better give it than when I promise and I don't fulfill it. That's the moment for you. But I was a disciplinarian, a diligent man. The role model, family oriented, always make sure everyone around you was okay. Robert was a strict tutor, he was always direct in his opinion. But how do you see him for grudges? He had the purest of heart, he was a man full of wisdom, and was always solicited more by this. Above all, of our most in mind of God. Prince Robert loved his immediate family. God knows no doubt. He will go at length to check on you. He was attested to yesterday. He will sacrifice anything to keep the family together. He believes in education. He siblings, nieces, and nephews, everyone that came around. The contact with him benefited greatly from his generosity. Even personally, I remember in the 88th year box, when I finished my MBA, he was still putting I wanted to go out and start my career. I was saying, well, there are some PhD programs here. There are some of my father known from the academics. I certified one by my professor. I don't really need to go for PhD. He was always pushing. She said, rather to the Let's say if memory of the righteous and for everyone who is the rest of the he told me that I will be writing so soon a tribute to my beloved brother. I will have said all that was the Bible. With tears in my pockets, I pen down my tributes. I received the news of the whole calling of my brother in the early hours, Sunday, the first day, we will be the living. Hoping that you will be the sickness and you will. Hoping that you will be the sickness. As you are never been sick in over 64 years. We've been together for 60 months. We've been together for a day of day. I've never seen that guy sit all by me for the days. In our entire life, we've been always fresh. It will take a long time for me to believe that you are not. Was I not enough to convey in how to feel the change? I had another brother, this one's just my health, but I was not able to fight it. It's the key. What? The new family. So, the words for a mess of their very bleak. Not the same way, but I'm even closer to some of my brothers. He, but he has his own uniqueness. He has his own uniqueness. I will give you an example of the uniqueness. When in 1958, when that primary school together in love and soul, and, and because of the price of the law, we have to pay the school uh, because of security. But by God, myself and myself, to see the primary school. I don't know I've already started there, which was why I finished my elementary school. He single handedly told me and registered me in that CSE primary school, which was why, where he finishes uh, in the school, which was why I finished the school. And when anybody could travel to the States, he 
he was already out to work in Antonio Blast. He already saved enough money for my ticket and his own tickets. You know, so me. But eventually he traveled first. And I never married in that one in the middle of time. But in fact, he was out there and all of us made sure that we were out there. And I so simplicity and giving was never a surprise to me. You made it more battery, even sometimes with your death limits. You were a day born to keep. You were a great leader. No doubt you got so many skills. You impacted so much in my life and all this. It shows definitely which is one thing to have to do with people. Your own body did not preach peace for people who were part of peace. You always make sure for the immediate family and extended family stay in the buffer with your brother. Even your whole town or world, you wanted a peace, allowing the grace. My beloved brother was a poor getter in the age of vocabulation and lessons. My beloved brother had a good, good listening ear. He pays both attention to details and gives his opinion every day. My beloved brother was a man of dignity and integrity. He loves honesty, sincerity, fighting, honest. One of my favorite programs when giving advice in, when giving advice in to do not to others what you want them to do. My beloved brother was an ambassador for Christ. The boy instead may rise forward in the Christian. Science makes references to the word of God and the brothers. My beloved brother was functional and the solid kind remember and sweet. Memories of our late father and our uncle, that she was a very good guy years ago. One of the memories I my brother shared with me was more than half a million years My beloved brother fell under our father and uncle, Tyler, and that was the very, very impressive. He also did, did not take for granted the advantage of our staying. So, you're studying the fourth law, the unusual law. Ask your wife, let him give that. My consolation, even as you see in morning, is that we're. I'm convinced that God to press the Lord where there is no more pain. There is where I say goodbye to the Lord of the Lord. I love you so much. Forever is I'm grateful to God that I have a cross. As you see the rest in the the Lord is to be to pass in the moment. For my distributions, why? I know that death has been defeated with the coming and the rising of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the grace of God and the sufficient. Your wife and children will be will be fine, and the protection of the Lord shall not be Let me die amen. I will make sure that the grace of God is the Father. I will do my very best for your children. I will stand by them, not to be discouraged, and the legacy that I remain. Yeah. 
Pensam não os anéis valorem e não há grande no lado do outro. Abaixo do outro. Para o outro. Não sei quem não anéis valorem porque ele vai abrir o lado do outro. Não sei quem não anéis valorem. I believe in the Lord. I'll read the long chapter 12, verse 1. Do you all stand with the hand of the priest? It reads, Therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of the mercy of God, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is the truth of the word. Do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the knowing of your mind, so that you may discern what is the will and pleasing and perfect will of God. For by the great to give this to me, I call everyone from all of you to so not think of himself more highly than he should think. Instead, think simply. And God has distributed a measure of faith for him. Now, as we have many parts in one body, and all the parts do not have the same function, in the same way, who are many are one in body and parts, and individually members of one another. Of course, when he's given to us, we have different gifts. In prophecy, use it according to the proportion of one all of it. If service, use it in service. If teaching, in teaching. If exhorting, in exhortation, giving with generosity, leading with diligence, showing mercy with cheerfulness. Thank you. Amen. I'm the best of my next day. I have a father for you. This song, sing the song, when you take the word, and the word, and the word, and the word, and the word, What? Thank you. 
Revelation 20, verse 11. Then I saw a great smart one, and he moved back on it, and who's great, the earth and the moon of the earth. And he was found on the Israel. And I saw the dead, small and great. Standing before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened. It was not a lie. And it gave him a job from the day at once. And the days which were written in the book. Speaking of the dead, who are in it? It's death. And the answer is about the dead and the dead and the dead. The legend. Each one. I'm going to do that one. Then the dead and the dead are passed in the fire. Anyone not following in the reasons of our life? Next section of the program. We bless the name of the Lord for the opportunity to be there. And I will all pass on the account of the great God. But when I started putting the dots together, I began to understand better why I should need one. That will show me what this one. I've known our very most and um, it shares a good experience of the technology in the world. And uh, I was privileged to visit our very beloved brother at the hospital. 
Je ne sais pas. Watch. And I never knew. I was praying for my classmates of the years on the first one. The Olympic kids, two of them were in the classmates for three years in our world from 1974 to 77. And the one that I was very, very close to it was a uh, lady that I love. He definitely was not the quiet one. About five years ago, I started the goals to the association of our classmates. And I went to just the general of the community. And I never knew that I uh, just decided to be a Sanadam pastor that I was supposed to bring it into the schools to me as a student to work and do the things to do. It's amazing that I can reflect back for three years today that I would just to learn this one. I would tell you the young man was coming to this. So many people died in the state of things about them. So that our lives about it. So that's what you know now. All of those things. It relates to the what I used to go back in the 70s. So, I hope I didn't This name is Jesus. that has brought this to happen to us at this time, then who is it? I shared testimony with uh, our sister some few days ago that uh, one of our pastors went into coma and they called our leader in North America to pray whether he could come back to life. And then he said, okay, I'm sending my son. I was far away. They've been praying in the hospital for him to wake up for hours. So I flew to Detroit, then drove another four hours. And when I got to the hospital, they look at me with disdain. So that's the man we've been waiting for. I got to the hospital and went straight to the bed. And I saw the man, they were ready to pull out the life support. And I said, can you give me a few minutes? So I gathered the brethren together. They've been praying for hours, for four hours or so. So 
So we prayed for just 15 minutes. And I said they should go and check the pressure. The pressure was about, I don't know, at the time, but maybe 90, already gone. So 15 minutes prayer, go check, and nobody answered. Because we've been praying for 24 hours or so, we just came for 15 minutes. And he said, we should go and check it. And then the past day, Dr. Amantos was instructed to go check. He went there, within 15 minutes, the pressure came down to 35. Now listen, that's how the pool, the life support, and the man was alive. But unfortunately, he was dead by that for another six years. Could not move his hands, could not move his leg. The wife was, was struggling, suffering. The children were suffering all along. And then this time when I see this man in the state, I used to visit him in the hospital. And I said, God, why didn't you allow him to go out the first instance? What if it is not God? Then, what, then who is it? He does whatever pleases him. He gives us cross that he knows we could bear as Christians. We will look at the book of Job quickly. Now, from the book of Job, we will share three questions and three mysteries. Quick. Job chapter 9, verse 22 to 24. In your sight, O women, it is all he said to God. That's why I say we need to try to win the universe and also destroy the mission. When I play, when you play the first you laugh at the death of the person. The hope is the reward of the week. And God will be the eyes of the churches. If it's not the one who does it, then who will do it that does it? This is the first time about the man of children when he lost 10 children in the day. Lost all his business in the day. And yet the most righteous person in the time. So, so many questions were asked. But one day we came into this confusion. There's only find that I lost 10 children in a day. I lost all my business in the day. And it did not come. Boom. The first question will be considered very quickly. If God is against us, what chance do we have? If God is against us, what chance do we have? Is the wisdom of the profound in power in the fact? We may not touch it out in heaven. And it's not on the waves of the sea. Job chapter 9 and verse 7 to 8, the method translation. It's a big test before God shine. And he does it. He pulls the blinds on the glass. All by himself, he stretches out the heavens and strikes on the waves of the sea. How oh, then can we be put with dogs? How can we find work to argue with him? If it is a matter of strength, it might be. If it is a matter of justice, who is the one here? He destroys the less and he destroys the weaker. If it is not God, then who again can do this? There's no need to argue with him. Our maker. We are at his mercy. God is infinitely great. Absolutely sovereign. That means everything that happens comes directly from God's hands. God is the author of the evil that befalls us as well as of the good. Purposes and ways that may look unfair are all unfathomable. There's no need asking why things are. If it's not him, then who is it? This is probably one of the most significant questions we may be asking at this time. 
or the little brown cup that goes. Question number two that is common in the African languages. Oh, that there was someone to copy God in our family, someone to speak to God on our behalf. Yes, we do. We prayed. I never knew I was even representing a major group of our class in the country. We can't pray with him. Came right from the truck. Prayed for two nights. The first night that I prayed, he was looking pale. And the second day, the second day, he was glowing. He was a bit like a glowing job. I was so happy. I never knew he was getting ready to go. Oh, that's, there was someone to come between us. God is not a man like us, that we might answer him, that we might confront each other in the past. Job chapter 9, verse 32 to verse 3. Say, God and I, not equal. I can't bring a case against him. We will never enter a courtroom speaks. How I wish we had an act, but be treated up with talk. And let me get on with life. Fortunately, Christ is our arbitrator, the peacemaker, who also went through sin agony. The arbitrator really seemed to probably stand and not allow it to happen. Also went through the same agony. In Hebrews chapter 4 and 13, the Bible says, Nothing in all creation is needed for God. Everything is naked and is put before his eyes. He is the one to whom we are accountable. So then, since we have a great high priest who has entered heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly what we believe. The high priest of our understanding. The artist of us understands our uh, weaknesses or in face all of the things that thing we do, yet they do not sin. So let us come boldly to the throne of grace. There we will receive mercy and we will find grace to the when we pray with him. The solution is that our high priest. Who would you have called upon and say, What were you doing, Lord? Why can't you stop this, Lord? Also went through the same agony, and yet he did not see. That means death or whatever happened is a process for everyone. Question number three Why would death take away our brother, a miracle? Death, of course, is not a failure. Death is not. Death is inevitable. Death will be the enemy, but it's also the natural mother of things. And for death to be inevitable, it will be unpreventable. Death is unavoidable when it comes. Death is undeniable. Death is irresistible and the necessary hand. In Romans 17, it is appointed unto us to die but once. Chapter 3 is like We cannot change the workers. We cannot change the father people in a certain place. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is to bring on the one strength we have. And that is our identity to what God. Our identity of Christian virtue will determine whether death will be a gain or a loss. Philippians 1 20 to 21. Says, I can only wait to continue on my task. I don't expect to be the last in the making. 
On the contrary, everything happened to me. Only start to make Christ more approaching. Everything happened. In the same, in the same, in the Christ, in the joy of life, in the courage of Regardless of whether we are or we are. I was supposed to be this from me up. He gave me a key piece. When I lie for death, I live for it. Life was a thing of more life. I took a look up. It's pretty scary. He said, they didn't shut me up. Which I went, I went to the north of me up. He gave me a I remember when I tell people always, I have a child that was born blind. And this is 27 years of handling the visually impaired person. If you are not there, you won't know. I have a friend who has another child who was dumb. And when the child was 24 years old, the parent, I asked the parent, because your daughter recognizes you in the same home. We just made it with the child, we take care of the child every day. And the child was in the house of spirit for 34 years. And they tried to try to have a bit But you know what? My challenge gave me a gift. If not for my challenge, I would not be my friend. My challenge made me to watch out that this is not a place. We're running from post to post, right here, and we forget that one day we're going to be better. So let's give each other, give each other the peace, no discouragement, no work. God is setting from the beginning of the world. What is the world? Don't be saved by anybody. He is alone. The ultimate is God. If it is not God, please. I'm just going to focus on time to talk about three questions. Now, quickly, we run off the three mysteries of love. First mystery man, born of woman, is of a genius and full of trouble. Whether we like it or not, it's a bit. It built up like a cloud and we lie away. Like a new starter, it does not endure forever. For. <laughs> and the battle starts in the womb. The battle of life starts in the womb. I remember I was I'm not a medical doctor, I studied that. For one man to come into the world, you will have contested the 20 million dollar contest. 40 million spam in the world. Contested to become one city. And separate from the world. What that is up there? Life in the place, in the place. But for the flight to the world, there are battles that commence in the world. Forty million of plants started to be raised of about 15 centimeters long black in the machine. So many things happen. One span has to read the fallopian tree. Even if you are the fastest span that read the fallopian tubes, you can get there at the wrong time. There are two fallopian tubes. The base from the Europe of the contested with about 39 million pounds. To become a woman. And something drew that to him, just like the happened to us. If it is not God, who is it that he is? So in our subconscious days, we will be taught that this brother took out of it. And today, in our conscious days, we took it. They have the power to form and the power to begin. So who are we to channel? 
This is a common mystery because of time. Life is a game. Someone said life is a game. Life is not a little bit. I said life is not a little bit. Job 14, 5 to 6. You have decided the length of our life. You know how many months we will live. New Living Translation. And we are not getting a minute longer. You know how many months? We will be keeping a minute longer. So leave us alone and let us rest. We are like higher moments, so let us perish. Our work in peace. That's the words here. Let us finish in peace. Who is the one that finishes in peace? The one who embraces the truth of the one who brought the king into the world. Let us finish in peace. So the thing that we're talking about in our life is not peace. The end is not the past. Our charity matter to God in this day. Our humanity is legitimate. We are responsible and free under God to determine to obey Him or to obey Him to prepare or to give up. God is talking about to make the right choice here because of the day like this. It is our responsibility to meet up to God's expectation because of the day like this. Without its circumstances, not to become something other than what we'll God has told us to be. No. When I say life is again, there are two things that I know. There is God's side and there is the devil's side. For the devil's side, we know when they will end. But for God's side, there are so many people on the north side who are wearing devil's dress. They may even perform to become captains of the team, pastors, ministers, great men. But yet, they are wearing devil's jersey. It was the end that we justified. Are you one of those? This is the kind of revelation. Yes, we are on, on the team of God, born Christian, that you can be jersey of the devil with you. A day that is like this will be two days to change the test. The test of God. The ordinary affection for the things of the world. Take your being here into the authority and to your parents. Lack of submission to the will of God. The woman who carry this along with you is God. You are really there with stress. And here it is. And look to it in the middle of the day. Look to the middle of the day. Then you will say, But we had a journey with you, and you put in our place. And he will reply, I tell you, I don't know you, or where you come from. Get away from me, or you will do the work. There will be a great question of Timothy, where you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God. When we turn out. The day like this, the day that we should reflect, that we don't own ourselves. Our owner is the Almighty. And it takes us to some of our lives, but it's not going to be a good life. And finally, Mr. Number 3, oh God, where are you? Where are you when our owner was going to be? Where are you when a good one is taken away? He said, This is In Job 23 and 129, he said, My complaint today is a little bit hard. And I tried hard not to turn along. This is the story of a man who lost their children in the way. So if only I knew where to find God, I would go to his God. I will lay out my case and present my argument. 
Then I will listen to you before I can understand what you say. Will you use the great power to have you pay? You will give me a big idea. All these people are the same way. I will be forever appointed by the church. I go in, but it's not there. I go west, but I can't find it. I do not see him in the north, for I see him. I look to the dark, but he is conspiracy. Do you know how many of us who were cloning like this man who was sent to the end? Do things to him for God. And he cried, my God, my God. Why are you persecuted? The book of Psalm 22, I love 1 to 3, as I do. He said, my God, my God, why do you have done that to me? Why are you so far away when I do not for help? Every day I call to you, my God, but you do not answer. Every night you hear my voice, but I find no relief. Yet you are holy and pure with the So, what did you Many of us experience helplessness. In fact, life is filled with problems and setbacks. In this hour of deep grief, when they did feel totally abandoned by God, the Lord gave me an, an amazing gift from that son. The Holy Spirit is very much about the same and revealed to him the suffering of one who will come across him 1,000 years later. In striking and preserving the day, David fulfilled the abode of the Messiah on the cross. There was no deliverance from the cross for the Messiah. God could have done it. Jesus endured his calling until the birth of him of holy pain. Our brother also has a common for us. Hebrew 2 and verse 10. God, for whom and through whom everything was made, to bring many children into glory. It was, it was only right that he should make Jesus a perfect man. Every one of us has a perfect man. We think we them on the salvation. We think we put them on the salvation. We think we put them on the salvation. Our brother did not more. God also had a magnificent miracle. Coming back home. Yes, a soldier in the army of God a miracle. A soldier a miracle. The Lord Jesus is the commandment. When Jesus came into this army, there was no contract sign. Now that he wants him back. There's no bridge of contracts. Money could not stop him. Doctors could not stop him. Even death could not destroy him. Devil could not defeat him. But when the commander calls him from the subtle field, then now the subtle shall have been When the commander calls him, is what is ever been. Shall we don't need to sorrow for the one who brought in here as we draw him back. We should only think about ourselves. In the street. By and by, we shall be on the beauty of the soul, in the sweet by and by, we shall be, we shall be on the beauty of 
I want you to examine your life. For without your we will be taken. The book of First Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 16. The Bible says, And the Lord itself will descend from heaven. Three things will happen. There will be shouts. The voice of an archangel and the triumph of God, they are the first that will rise. And then those of us that remain in alive life will come from at the cloud and meet Jesus at the end. Are you ready? Are you ready? There is a one that is far than me. And by faith, we can see it afar off. From all the power that we scroll far down. To prepare us a dwelling in the earth. In the sea. By and by. We shall be all the people. Show me The Salonian chapter 4 and verse 16. I read from 16 that one. Search on 4 hours, said it was wrong. But those of all come and let me try. Who are the Bible? Who can talk about the name? In the cloud. Let's do a school guy in Christ. Right. It will be the perfect way. Get that very important to come. All of us should comfort us. We are not missing. If stand right as we go, we will meet again one day. So, with this, I have your own to appreciate the extent of the continental atmosphere of the English Central of North America. And this beautiful one, also, and also, this is a very 
in our midst and uh, in one of the Christians asked him to come in for the fun. You're welcome. Good afternoon. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And for your life like this, for our brothers and come to rest. No more pain, no more work, no more allowance increase <laughs> for my children. And as I was just meditating on the passage to glory of my brother, I like to go that way. I like the idea. The song that came to mind is because he lives, I can face tomorrow. The dead is not dead. The dead is alive because of the Easter resurrection. He is still with the Master. Hallelujah. If I sorrow, I sorrow because of selfish reason. If you sorrow, you sorrow because of a selfish reason. Because you don't want him to go. You want him here. So wherever you may be, hold your brother's hands as we sing this song. Because he lives, I can face the man with his smile, his smile in your face. Because he lives, oh, there is God. I know, oh, he knows my needs. I love this world. I live just before me. Oh, you understand the meaning of that song? Because the memory of my brother, that Terry, is his father's wife. Concerned. He knows the way to go. He offers for life. Not in our own. Not in our own. Oh, the Rembrandt chair pushes me to walk respectfully. So, therefore, I don't want you to hold that memory in your heart. No, you will be well. If you finish well, you will see it. Because the Bible says, every one of us has worn out our own salvation with fear and trembling. He has finished well. Without any other of that in my mind, he has finished well. Is in the bottom of Abraham. Then connect to each and every one of us. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Let's do it one more time. Because it is, I can say this the memory of my brother is always smiling. And if you ask any question for you today, is is it good night or good night? If you are his brother, his wife, his your dad, if you are in Christ, you see him again. But if you are one of those fraternity brothers, you are not giving your life to Christ, just like the teacher said that this afternoon. It is good bad. You will see him again. But if you surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, know it really well that yes, it's in the bottom of Abraham and blessed in now. Welcome to the children, to the world, and to every one of us, we love him. Finish your race. Finish well. I know that I know that I know. I will see my brother again. But the question for you and I, before we pray for the family, and you ask your brother, is it good bad? Or is it good night? If the partner question you need to answer, that I need to answer, because I'm going to pay the day. 
It's a good night. Not good bye. Hallelujah. So, give the body clap up and give the body clap up. Amen. Thank you, man. Yes, maybe statement about my brother, I'm therefore, we are going to ask the family to just step forward. Please, the children, the mom, step forward. And all family members, please step forward. Come forward. Just step forward. Hallelujah. Church, please. I know you all pastors, come and kings, you're all right. You want the grace of God upon your life. And you have such as I have. I just want you to step up your hand to the family. What do you wish for your family? What do you wish for your children? What do you wish for your wife? What do you wish for your husband? The people who you for them in the name of Jesus. That the grace of God shall be sufficient for them in the name of Jesus. The love, the peace, the anointing. The favor, the blessings, the open heavens will be upon the family in the name of Jesus. The God of all comfort shall comfort his sons in the name of Jesus. He's the God that carried the Israelites 14 years in the wilderness. They lack nothing. He made room for them. He supplied all their needs. And as he has promised for the family, that is going to provide, it's going to supply all needs according to the scriptures of glory. Pray for them, pray for them, pray for them. Lord, encourage them. Be their dad, be their brother, be their strength, be their support, be their leader, be their master, be their Lord. When they need counsel, when they need anything, oh God, please do pray them in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Holy Spirit, we bless you. Be your help, we worship you. The Lord of hosts. The mighty man in battle, our master, our redeemer, our champion, our healer, God, the earth of our head, the one that you will save today, the one that you save tomorrow, the one that you live forever, the God that never fails, the God that never forsakes his own, the God that you live for us from now on to eternity, you will be important, you will be the time. Oh, my beloved God. The God that we serve, the God that is our God, there is none like you. The God of you, you have never been. It's impossible for you to bear. The God that is you, yet we are. We don't know what our future, we don't know what tomorrow, but we know our future, we know our today, we know our tomorrow, we know our next day, we know our next day, we know our past, we bless you. For your life of this family, we bless you. So you know the in the name of Jesus. So we know that we know that we know that Don't 
Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, I just want to beg your indulgence for three minutes. I didn't plan on really coming up to say anything at all. Um, but I'm very overwhelmed. And I know it's not for me. It has to be for God. It has to be for my husband. Because I know I'm not deserving of all this. Um, but I have to give special thanks to very important people. Um, but before I do that, I need to recognize our children. Thank you so much, Pastor Mrs. Fidel, and all the pastors in the house. Just to, I mean, you need to have to fly down from the engagement and had to move right away. 
So I want you to recognize all the characters in the house. All the guys that came out, me now and I'm here because I find I can't see those glasses. Um, but I want to thank some very special people. Um, I want to thank my husband, first of all, um, because I met my husband when I was 21, and I won't be the woman I need to be without him. So I have to thank God for the Bible. And in three hours to three years, I have said I have to give thanks. In every situation, give thanks. Um, and I want to thank you also, um, the Alabama family. I've been in the family for over 30 years. The one for me, I so want to thank the so many of them here. I can't give you all of them, um, the so many here. The brothers, the sisters, the nieces and nephews, so many here. Um, I'm just overwhelmed. Um, but I really, really, really want to thank my siblings. Um, I am so blessed to have the sisters I have and the brother I have. Um, they literally have dropped their lives for me, my husband, and my children. We've been here for weeks, we've flown down, we've flown miles, we've sacrificed so much. And that's because of what you meant to them as well. Thank you, my mom. Thank you for all the hours you spent in the hospital with us. Thank you. I don't know. She's not even going to back in under a week's box. And I'm going to ask him if I don't know. I'm going to call Thank you, thank you. I just want to thank you. I told you. I love you so much. Um, you know, I couldn't have gone through this without your love and support. And I just want to thank you. For being a friend for me, for my children as well. And I think of the kids which you really want to be. I always tell you how to My biggest surprise in the world is incredible to me. Um, one of the things I don't know what that is. But those of you who know, thank you all for the phone from so many different parts of the US. I can tell you. Um, friends. I'm just thanking you. Thank you all the friends in my family here from our space. I um, just want to thank you for this. I know my husband has been so touched. It's not one to draw attention, so it's supposed to be much for the match. But um, the thank you all for the support of your lives. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Proceed to the ceremony. As we are going to be proceeding out, um, the three year old staff will be nice on the house and the building as we exit um, in the last end. Um, the internal service will be called to take place right after, so please um, walk away as the exit. Um, Fathers, please, if you have a place to have a father, please speak to the staff in my door, please. If you can let me have a father, please, if you can let me have a door, please. Uh, as I said earlier, please, uh, as much as you can, please, 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 please,
We say, It's 20, 20. Right, 
Once I moved, he got my number and he was checking me so consistently. I actually got word because I didn't have his number. So I didn't pick up for a while. Then my father in law told me that it was him. I called him and I apologized that he was always that consistent and always loving and always caring. Definitely I'm sad with the whole family. It's sad.
well. Um, I'm glad you're so overwhelmed with this. Uh, uh, I just want to thank everybody that showed up. It's uh, so overwhelming, very shocking to the entire family. Um, well, I believe my brother lived in part of life. I believe it's um, God's calling. Our question box. We will miss all of this for the life of us today. Pray that uh, God will give us wisdom. So more people can fix life. Hmm. I don't know what to say about my brother or that. I love you for God bless you. You're sweet, gentle, loving brother. Thank you for the love that you will.
declaration like as a father pities his children even so is the lord merciful unto them that fear him for he knows whereof we are made he remembers that we are but dogs the days of man are but grass for he flourished as a flower in the field for as soon as the wind goes over over it, it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever and ever upon them that fear him, in his loving kindness and righteousness upon children and children. Our first hymn for this service, this afternoon, is It is Well. It is one. We have this. Let's open the big seven. It is one. We take the first verse. When peace like a river has been in my head, where storms like sea below. This world is this world. We need to it is one. It is important. This world is this world. Oh, the blessed of glorious thoughts. I see but And I bear it no more. It is well, it is well. It is my soul. If when the fish are come, and the dawn is coming, it and it is my soul. 
I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who are falling asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, God will bring in with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord that we do are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord, we by no means deceive those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then who are alive, remain, shall be caught off together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. And those we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. I want to see this opportunity to thank the family for giving me the opportunity to say this last farewell message and at the same time to enjoy the family. I want to, I'm not taking it uh, slightly, uh, lightly because I know there are other people that do this. But I presume that God has a purpose for every child. And um, the purpose for why I'm doing this just start to report to me. On Sunday, I had a break and I told my wife that uh, somebody that is very, very strong, very powerful, with that. So and I showed her the dream I had. Uh, Strains is, uh, I would say, is a general. Because what I saw in that dream, I saw a very big palm tree of protein as a sort of storm and crossed over. It's like a fence crossed over to the other side. And when indeed they told me I would do this, and God started to let me know that our brother has trust to your sons. I want to encourage you, my sister, the children, all I did, the other, I did it. Add great testimonies about your dad. What they said about him, the life he lived, is about what I really want to encourage many of us here today. And the question is, what kind of life are you living? What kind of life are you living? If Jesus should say, yes, it's time for you to come home, what will your neighbor, what will your friends, what will your siblings, what will your children, what will your wife say about you? And if you are not ready for this, I think you are in the right place. And that's why the Bible really tells us that it's good to go to a place of mourning. Mourning is better than a place of feasting because we are the truth and that can make us to change. And this, morning, this afternoon, our God is the creator of life. And the bread that we have is the one that gives it to us. And he has the power, the authority to take it at any time that he wants. And that is what I want to encourage you, that God has sent him to this world for a purpose. And we thank God for the life that he lived, that he did not live his own life, but he lived the life that God has sent him to do. And he's the God that said, yes, it's time to come home. And he decided to bring him back home. We prayed, we fast, we did everything that we could do. But God said, it's time. And I want to encourage you just this afternoon that the Lord is the one that has the final say. We cannot query him. 
can only ask questions and it has answer. And the answer is that our brother is in a better place. Our brother is what is in a better place. Do not, as the Bible tells us, that the life that our brother lived, we have different kind of testimonies from his siblings, from friends, from families, how he saved life of many people, how he showed himself out to go extra mind for people. He lived the life of Christ. Jesus Christ was sent to this world to die for your sin, to die for my sin. And that is the life that our brother lived. For those of us that were here, we cannot preach for him because it's the last bus stop. It's too late. He cannot rewind the life back again. He cannot fast forward it. But for those of us that we are still alive, we can rewind and we can make adjustments before it's too late. The moment he gets up, the dropping down now, that is it. The only thing we hold it to do to walk, to strive towards, is that looking forward, the hope that we can meet him one day. And you, as I stand right now, we have to walk on ourselves. And that is why I want you to ask yourself, what kind of life am I living? Do your life represent Christ? Because a life without Christ is a life that's full of crisis. It's a life that will go to the other side, go to hell. But if you are not living the life of Christ, it's not too late for you to change your mind. Let's look at what we've asked about our brother since yesterday. It has really challenged me in many ways. Praise the Lord. And I pray that God himself will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us live a life of Christ. The life of Christ means to live in union with Christ so that Christ becomes all, all about you. Everything about you will be about Christ. Is that your situation today? So that our daily life will represent, will demonstrate, and will show Christ like in our life. If you are not at that level today, it's never too late. Let us live to grow in Christ intimately. What's your fellowship with Christ? Are you the kind of person that is only on Sunday that you just go to church and not that that is it? Or are you the one that enjoys the fellowship with Christ? We can see what our brother did. Preaching you on the seabed, he was still preaching to someone that you need to be going to church. You need to be doing this. That is what Christ wants us to do. And I pray that every good thing that he has done in life, I want to encourage the children. I want you to take over from here and continue the work. And God will help you in that. Jesus. Mark 12, that said, And you shall know the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. And that is the first commandment. Do you love Christ? If not, I want you to start today. Do you love your neighbors as yourself? I found out that no one can make heaven without his neighbor, without his friend. You cannot make heaven in isolation. It's in everyone, everyone that you see today, tomorrow, those are the ones that you will qualify us for heaven. Do you love, show love? Do you demonstrate it? We had our brother demonstrated his love to his fellow brothers. Are you doing that? If not, it's not too late. You can still change. And I pray that God will touch you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you the one making trouble all over? Or you are the one trying to go to pursue peace? The Bible encourages us, Hebrews 12, 14, say, pursue peace with all people and holiness without which work no one will see the Lord. Our hope that one day I want to see the Lord. My hope is one day I want to be Prince Adoroba, one day. But we have to do what? We have to pursue peace. It's a time we have to reconcile with those that you say you never talk to. Because without peace, you will not do what you will not see the Lord. And the Bible encourages us to say, Blessed are the peacemaker, for they will be called children of God. I will pray that every one of us will be, we shall be called children of God in the name of Jesus. Brethren, let us at this time remember that the word of God in Isaiah 26, verse 3 says, For the Lord God, Keep in perfect peace those whose minds are stay on the Lord because the Lord will trust in him. Many of us will trust in the car we drive. 
We trust in the dollar that we have. We trust in the house that we live in. But I want to encourage you, the only thing that cannot disappoint, cannot fail, is when you put your trust in the Lord. And I pray the grace to put our put our trust in the Lord, it shall be upon you in the name of Jesus. Our brother, by the grace of God, we all meet once in a year during the convention, June. And when we meet, we discuss, we do everything. And you see, it will be very calm, very truthful. And his life always minister to me. You know, I look around, I say, well, I'll be getting to man. But when I see his own iniquity, I say, well, indeed, you are a true man of God. And what really amazed me is that he will go extra mile to make sure he kept his wife. He will, he will do everything. And not in a hurry, with love. And I just admire him. And I pray that God will continue to put him in an arrest in the name of his own. Brethren, this time, this season, as we are right now, everyone have his own season, have his own time. It is time to go to the rest, to, to his permanent rest place. And I have no doubt it's in a better place. And I have no doubt that by the grace of God, every one of us, as long as we are in Christ, we will meet him one day. And that is the hope that we have as Christians. Because if you look at everything on in this uh, in this world, Bible says it's very miserable. But the only hope that we have is that one day we shall meet. And when we meet, we shall talk. We shall all rejoice with one another. And if there's anything I'm looking, I'm having hope is that one day I shall meet him. Praise the Lord. So without any any argument, I read what is here, and that's why I want us to look inwards. How we are living our life? What kind of work is in your hands? I read this that is here. He said, "May the work I have done speak for me. May the work I have done speak for me." And how many of us can truly pray? This kind of prayer. What is the work that is done? It's not too late to change. If the one that is here cannot qualify you to meet heaven, I want to encourage you to change and take the wrong path. If the work that is in your hand is taking you to the right place, continue to do that work. And that God will bless you in the name of Jesus. My sister, Stack of Four, Bolaji, I did it, and Bolaji. I know this is a very challenging time. But the only thing that I encourage you is that hope on the Lord and put your trust in Him. He has promised that He will not leave you, neither will He forsake you. And I know for sure that there is a God that always takes care of the widow. There is a God that takes care of the father. Lord. And I pray that God will take care of the Very soon, many of us will leave this place. Sometimes, some of us. We will not call you for the next three months. Even though we promise that we call everything. But one thing that you want to go through with your God is never leave you. That God will never protect you. When you look around and see there's no God, but you are calling call of one and call it. Well, I think. One thing to be sure. And I pray God will give you a good husband. God will give you a good wife. A good wife that will love your mom. A good husband that will love your mom. In the name of Jesus. It's a rough journey. But when God is the journey with the man, it makes it very smooth. The grace to run this journey. God will be with you in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. But before we pray, I want to make some proclamation for signing this. Praise the Lord. Man that is born of a woman is a few days of ice and full of trouble. He grows and is 
ewes down as the flower of grass. It passes away like a shadow without staying in a place. In the midst of life, we stay in death. From whom shall we seek help but from you, our Lord, who is justified to be annoyed because of our sin? Lord God, most high, almighty God, holy Savior, and the most merciful, do not put us in the painful agony of everlasting death. Now, you know the secrets of your heart. Do not be deaf unto our prayers. Most holy God, only Savior, and most merciful God, spare us. You are the most righteous judge. Do not allow us to fall away from you because of death. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. I want to the other chapter. And at this time, you will say final farewell on this ads to your dad, to your husband, to your outline, to your sister, to your uncle, and you can. Unto the Almighty God for the journey of your life that one day we shall meet at your Give <laughs> As much as it has pleased the Almighty God of His great mercy to take into Himself the soul of our beloved brother, husband, father, Prince Adiroba, Olateru, Olagbegi, here departed, we therefore commit his body to the ground 
heart to heart, dust to dust, ensure a sudden hope of the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ, the Lord who shall change the body of no estate that it may be like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty work whereby he can subdue all things to himself. Then shall he say, I heard a voice from heaven, say unto me, Right from henceforth, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Even so, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labor. A brother, he has rest from his labor. Prayer of hope before we lay the flower. O oh, Heavenly Father, let's pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, who is thy son Jesus Christ has given us a true faith and a true assurance? Help us, we pray, to live as those who believe and trust in the covenant of sin, the forgiveness of sin and the resurrection of life, everlasting and strengthening this faith and hope in us all the days of our life. For the love of thy son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Right, I want you to rise up and I want you to tell what, tell what you want to talk to oh. Thank you, O Lord of heaven and earth. We praise you, O Lord of heaven and earth. 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 Oh, heaven and earth. Go forth upon your journey from this world, O Christian soul. In the name of the Father who mm -hmm. created you. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ who suffered for you. In the name of the Holy Spirit who strengthened you. Mm -hmm. In communion with blessed saints. Mm -hmm. May your portion this day be in peace. Mm -hmm. And your abode in holy time. Mm -hmm. We cast you, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We will sing the last hymn for today. God be with you to we meet again. So we we'll take the first verse and the last verse, and we we'll take the chorus three times. Now we just ask you to bring out the song of it. The solidarity and unity of its family. Oh, it's you to me. Yeah, it is. Oh. By his, sorry, by his cancer, guy, oh, I With his ships, God, I told you. He is with you. Oh, God, with you to me, that is. Let's take the last verse. God be with you to we meet again. Oh, be with you to meet again. 
And I you know this afternoon. Someone had a very expensive and it's something we you know broke. So we sent it to the expert to go and replace And when he got to the expert, expert said this this word is too expensive. If I try to fix it, I'll do more damage. And I don't want anybody to see. Me. So the only advice I can give you is tell the owner that they need to send it back with money. There's nothing our God cannot do. The one that created it, the one that brought it to this world. He can fix anything that you cross. But God decided. That is his time. And there's no doubt that it is time indeed. And uh, as we say, final farewell and depart from this place. Okay? Does anything you want to go on with? It's all, all the testimonies we've had about our brother. How he lived a Christ like life. How he should go. How he care for his family. How he saved people's lives. I think those are the things that we need to remember. And we need to examine our own life. How am I living my own life? And I pray that God will help us in the name of the Father, once again, we have come to say we are grateful unto you. It has pleased you to call your son home at this time. And you promise us that as you call it home, we will send comforter to comfort all the family. Father, at this time, O oh Lord, we pray for your daughter, the wife, Princess Aurora Ipoko. We pray for the children, and Adeniji, the Lord, and all the siblings, all the loved ones, everyone that has come to say farewell to your, to your son. That Lord comfort every one of them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we have no power of our own, and we cannot do anything without you. And that's why we are depending on you, Holy Spirit, that as we leave this place, O oh Lord, that Lord be our comforter Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, no one knows the time and the hour you will call. But what we are trusting and asking by the time you knock at our door, Father, we pray. Lord, let us be ready, O oh Lord. Amen. Lord, we are asking for your help, O oh Lord. The journey, the race is rough. It's only those that run the rest of the hands that can make it. We are asking, Lord, release an unusual grace to run this race to the hand. Every temptation, Father, give us victory over it. As we all gather here, Lord of heaven, we are asking because that is not our, how old you are. It's when our assignment is completed. And we pray, oh Lord, that as your son has completed his assignment on this world and has finished it to take it home, every one of us we pray, Lord, grant us the grace to complete our assignment. Oh Lord. The legacy that your son has left behind, commit the children unto you, oh Lord, grant them the grace to take it to the next level. Amen. Lord, every prayer that they have prayed for you, oh Lord, I pray, those prayers, they will find manifestation in your life in the name of this world. And very soon, we shall come and rejoice with you for one thing or the other in the name of Jesus. If we declare with the faith, you will not die young. Amen. We shall live up to declare the glory of God Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. thank you. We bless you. We exalt your holy name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. benediction. The God of the peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ the great shepherd of the sheep by the blood of the eternal covenant. We keep you with everlasting good that you may do his will, walking in you that which is pleasing in his sight in womb forever and ever in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.
let's try some. <coughs> As we leave this place, what will be clear? And may the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord keep you. Amen. And may He be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord will lift His countenance upon you Amen. and give you peace on all sides in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we depart. Amen. Once again, I want to say thank you. To the family, for this privilege, for this opportunity. Thanks for friends that travel all the way, and thanks for all the support. My prayer is that God will continue to be with us, God will continue to shield us, and God will continue to guide us. We pray that on the day of our home, we will see people to take care of the cause of the living God. Because it's not a matter of time. But our prayer is that.
But this time, everyone, if you could, make your way back to your vehicle and head back to the church. Okay, so. Gentlemen, if we can have you all move backwards, please. They need to move 10 back. 
I don't know what I said as was on our table. Didn't I get on? Didn't you remember? I think it's the same. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 